analog diffusion of stable diffusion is still one of the best models that can produce cinematic results that looks like this. So and today we recently learned that this model could be used with lesser number of steps with a different sampler that can produce this kind of result. For example, this and this, these, these results have been produced just from eight steps and using a sampling method called DPM++ SDE Karas. The only catch here is that this sampler calls the model twice for every iteration. So technically you are doing approximately about 16 steps, but still if you have got a low memory GPU, you do not have uh, powerful resources, this is still a good option to try with the lesser number of steps. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can do this starting to end. The first thing that you need to do is go to the last bin, GitHub, I will link it in the YouTube description, open the Google Colab notebook, run every single step here. First step is to ac give access to your Google Col Google Drive. Next is install automatic 11.11 repo. The next is install all the required libraries. And then finally, you need to paste the link of analog diffusion model. This link comes from Hugging Face Model Hub. So you can copy that, that I'll link it in the YouTube description. So once you link that, then the model will get downloaded. And then finally, you can start the stable diffusion server. Once you start the stable diffusion server, you would be greeted with this automatic 11.11 interface. At this point, most of you might be very familiar with this, but if you are not familiar with this, a quick note, this is where you have selected the model and this is where you give your positive prompt and this is where you give your negative prompt and this is where you select your sampling method and this is where you select your number of steps and this is where you select your guidance skill. And if you want to restore the faces or fix faces, this is the tick mark that you have to give. This is quite a basic information and again, this is seed value. Quite a basic information, I'm not getting into the details of how automatic 11.11 is, but if you want to generate images like this, this is a wonderful model. So I got a prompt that was, um, I got it from Reddit. So the prompt is a close shot moody photograph at night of a beautiful woman smiling surrounded by fairy lights. And these are the images that I've got for that. These are pretty good, like the kind of details that are there, it doesn't look very artificial. The details are pretty good. And it's not just that it works on um, these kind of images, it, it actually does this job very well for a lot of images. So let's start with the setting before we get into the prompt. Let's set our configuration. Click the sampling method and select DPM++ SDE Keras. Then the next is go to the sampling step and then select sampling step 8. Make sure that your images are 512 by 512. Next you can set the guidance scale 9. And the batch size is something that you can, batch count is something that you can select based on how many images that you would like to see. I mostly like to see at least four images. This way I understand whether the prompt is doing well or not. So I'm going to stick with four images here. So now the prompt is the template is like this. So this is a place where you can give anything. So I'm going to give you the template. So this is where your actual text goes inside. Before that you start with analog style just to indicate the activation token. Then you have got the leftover still image, cinematographic lightning, lighting, sorry, professional color grading, cinematic hazel, masterpiece, intricate, highly detailed. In the negative prompts, you can give cartoon, blur, and again, you can add like things like deformed, uh, 3D, blender, you can add these kind of details as well. Now, what you can do is you can go here and then start giving your positive prompt, like the actual thing that you want to give. Like for example, I can say close shot of a um, young teenage girl and then I can generate this. So one thing for you to keep in mind is this model can also produce NFSW images. So I mean just keep that in mind like then you might have to give naked nude as uh, your negative prompt to avoid those things if you don't want those things. So we have said close shot of a young teenage girl and let's see what are the images that we have got. So this is the first image we have got the second image is this, the third is this, and the fourth is this. You can see like, especially this is a really good image. I, like, I like this image, the way this image is, the color grading, the color scale, everything looks amazing. But what is quite surprising is it's not just for human beings. It also works very well for like other things. For example, I can say close shot of, um, of a Porsche car, and then I can generate it. Now, Let's see how this output is, um, especially like the thing that I like about this is color grading. And now the fact that you can just get it with eight steps, um, 
I mean, technically you select eight steps, even though, you know, it's going to call the model twice. Uh, it is quite amazing. The details is amazing. It has got extra lights, which we don't want. Let's see how the next one looks. This is nice. This is nice. This is, this is another brilliant picture. So you can, you can iterate with different uh, cars. Like if you want, I can say uh, Ford Mustang and then the same thing, close shot of a Ford Mustang. Um, you can remove close shot, just give the model a car name and you can add details like what do you want in the front, what do you want in the background and the color grading, the tone of the image, it is all quite good. Like for example, if you do not like, okay, this is not good. This is good. Um, what else? I don't know why we have this image. Something got messed up. So let's say if you don't want a particular color, like for example, you don't want it to be very bluish, you don't want it to be something, then you can start adding it in negative prompt. So I'm going to give another um, image of human being. So I'm going to say close shot of, uh, of an old man um, near the library. Or just say close shot of an old man with blurred lights, red lights in the background and I'm going to just run it and then let's see how does it look close shot of an old man. So one of the reason why we have to give close shot sometimes for portrait is that this model does not do faces well when the faces are um, quite far away. So you can either generate it, restore the face or you can, you can try to be close as possible. Um, so that way, that way it won't look bad. So like you can see, uh, I, I is asymmetrical, but again, the details are quite good. The lighting is quite good. This is quite bad. So you can pick one of the image. Now you can send it to image to image. Like for example, I can pick one of this image. Um, I really like this image. The second one, this, this, even this is good. So I can send it to image to image. And after it gets loaded, now I can ask it to generate more images. I can say, uh, old, uh, of a young teenage girl and i can click generate so now this image is the reference and then you can generate so one of the style a lot of people follow is you create a base image using uh, text to image then pick the one that you like and then send it to image to image and then see which one you like so so this is another way of uh, generating better images so like i said generate a base image with text to image like four or five images pick one of the image that you like send it to image to image and now change the things that you like. So you, this is one image. This is another image. This is another, this is absolutely brilliant. This is another image. This, this looks really good. Like I, I really like the way it looks, the lighting is. Now, if I don't like red color there, or if I don't like too much yellow, if I don't like too much brightness or darkness, then again, I can add these things in the negative prompt. So this is what I wanted to cover in this video. This is, an, this is a popular model called analog diffusion. It's mind blowing. I'm, I'm a big fan of analog diffusion of all the models in stable diffusion. I think I just absolutely love analog diffusion for the details that it has got, uh, to quickly summarize the settings. It's just eight steps and the sampler is DPM plus plus SD Caras. And then the guidance scale is nine. And then you can go with this template. I'll add this template in the YouTube description. So you can literally copy paste it when you run this. We have used automatic 11.11 UI from the last bin. Um, this link will also be in the YouTube description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if you generate something nice, let me know on social media what, what kind of images you got. Love to see your samples. I'll see you in the next video. Happy prompting.